This here is the Connex Block X series. Now, just to give you a little rundown on this. Uh, this here was my concept, and each model looks a little bit different from it. The setup as far as the screws and the braces. Um, I did, however, notice that when I made these, if you could just do that, and they will pop. And the reason being is. Right where that line is, that's the weak spot. I didn't want to release anything like the 2-in-1 handheld tripod that we were using that I've done a few videos on to show you its weak spot. So I couldn't release mine knowing that there's a weak spot in there and I didn't correct it. So in order to correct that weak spot and to make this a durable handle, I drilled a hole down the middle and that's what that line indicates. Here it indicates the line or the angle in which the screw. So what I did to support it was we inserted a screw down here through the middle of the handle. And that took up the, the weak spot. Along with that, this here handle can be used for the 360 or X1 uh, sensor bar. The first two holes are for the X360 sensor bar. And this hole in the rear is a, a hole to hold your lines and conduits so you can secure them uh, right there with a tie strap. These two holes are for the flashlight if you choose to mount a flashlight to it. And this hole here going through the top is also for the X1. I will show you as well um, how to connect your sensor bars to it. And one thing I like to keep in mind about the block is uh, each one of these, each block is custom. Being that these blocks are custom made out of wood, each one is unique and has its own custom marking, uh, unique in its own way, be it the grain of the wood or the patterns in the wood or what have you. Um, this is the block that we will be making from here in. Uh, there will be a short model and this here regular model. Like I said, this here is a short uh, block. This is the Connex Block X strapped. And the reason it's strapped is as we were making this, I started to notice that the cost was going up and up and up. Uh, for the simple fact that we wanted to put the board, more screws, this type flashlight holder, which is sturdy, strong, and supportive. But as I started to work with them and just try them out more, I found that a plain block strap was enough to hold everything in place securely and you didn't have to worry about it breaking or falling off. And like I said, either it's going to have a support screw in the top or in the bottom. And with the most model, and with the models that I think will be releasing, most of them will be on the bottom. And there might be some where we just make a run at the top because right around here in that area is the weakest point. So like I was saying, I started with this plain concept. And then it was, let's add this, add that, add this, and um, the cost, start driving the cost up. So the ones we have now that have the platform and the flashlight holder are the only ones we have of that type. And like I said, if you see one you like, I hope you would order it because they're going to be limited. And I'm not sure if we will be making any more once these are going to pay depends on the request form. But like I say, if you see one you like, they are unique. Take this one for instance, the markings, the knot that was there, the grain of wood, the way the handle, the markings are on that handle. This is the only one with these markings, just like uh, any other one. This one here is, I use this design just to tour around with. It has the original X360 platform, mounting bracket, 
uh, along with a flashlight. I left this one here totally intact just to see how it will function. It's pretty good. Once you put your light on it, your flashlight, uh, the little bottom part actually acts as if it's a guard to keep you from accidentally turning your light off. Um, and when it's not in use, just extend it up to its closed position. But this one here, as you notice, I taken that part off and it works just as well. Along with that, we replaced that center piece that slides down the middle because it left an opening in there and that opening made it pretty weak. So we put that bar in there to support it and to strengthen up the, the platform. This here is the only one of this type, this style we have. This is the only one of this and this is the only this is the only short version uh, block strap that I have for this block X strap and this is the only regular size block X with the platform on it so if you're interested these are the only two of this type I started with this one uh, I added the platform on it to see how it will work this one here also you can remove the platform to connect a 360. Most of them will not come with a platform. This style with the one hole is very limited. I will not be making any more of these with just the one hole once these are gone. However, if you do notice in my original design, we did have the one hole and the two holes there. Uh, it's just that I'm not going to make any more one single hole for just a the flashlight holder here being that with these two holes once you put the ties up there you can um, use it for the left or right now that I'm going with this design with the two holes I will not be putting that that hole in the middle because the two holes are the two holes are enough to hold the flashlight securely in place and you can use it on the left side the right side or even mount on the bottom. Okay, and in this part of the video, I want to show you how to connect your connect sensor bar, be it the X360 or the X1, onto the block. Okay, if you have a 360, um, each one will come with a set of ties. Um, I think it's eight in total, uh, two for your flashlight, two for the 360, two for the X1, uh, one for this hole, and I believe there will be an extra one. This is about eight of them. Okay, with the 360, it could be a little tricky mounting your bracket with the 360. However, on the platforms, it's not as bad. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the platform right quick. That's why you have those notches. You have four notches, two on each end for the platform. And on the X1, you have the four holes to hold each one of your corners down. Okay, for this one here, you just place your scanner bar as such. I go ahead and begin my loop. Place it out there and pull it snug. And make sure that you line them up with the little strap. That's what, that's for. Once you put it on, make sure you line it up with the little slot there. And you can tighten it up. And pull it to the, I like to pull mine to the bottom side and then tighten. Do the same thing with the opposite side. Start your strap. And just make sure lines up, pull it a little snug, 
line it up with the little line it up with your straps tighten it up Once you have them lined up, then just go ahead and tighten each one accordingly. And that should secure the strap in there. Now, of course, just clip your ends 